morning. Good morning. It's the middle of the night. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Tonight, we are going for bluefish for the first time this season. Is my light too bright? Sorry. <laughs> and um, we haven't caught any bluefish yet this year, but we really haven't targeted them, and now they're in. So we're here hoping for bluefish, maybe weak fish. I know they're around at night, so it's exciting. We're gonna do good. The wind is like ripping right now, though. It's like 20 miles an hour. So hopefully we have some luck. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it to our little spot. Uh, we have a really, really high tide. And uh, we have about an hour left before high tide. So uh, let's go catch some fish while we still have an incoming before it slacks off. Let's go. There we go. First fish. First fish. He's jumping, he's jumping. What is it? Is it a blue? It's a jumpy boy. It's jumping like a blue. It's a blue. Yeah. My first blue of the year. Ah, what you got? My first blue fish of the year. Yes. And it was on my second cast. I made sure my first cast didn't didn't go too well. But my first ca uh, second cast, and I got a blue fish. Look at those yellow eyes. Ain't that something? <laughs> Give him a smooch. Mwah, from the back, air kiss. Back into the water. Come on, get, get a little lower. Let's get this on. This close to the water release. Yeah. Like a bullet. Let's go get more. If there's one, <laughs> if there's one, there's gotta be more. Bob, you're gonna get one. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that was pretty cool. I, I didn't expect to get a, a bluefish this early, second cast, but hey, we got a fish, so I didn't get skunked, so it's a good day so far. Like I said, hopefully there's more. If there's one bluefish, I'm sure there's a school somewhere just sitting around. And that was on the uh, five inch black and purple mag darter, just creeping it. And he just hit do 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 do. And that's how you know it's a bluefish. Head shakes like crazy. Let's go get more. That feels more like a like a bass. I could be completely wrong on this. Feels more like a bass. It's not head shakes, but he pulled a lot of drag. What the heck? Maybe he just took off real good because he's not fighting like he did at the beginning. It's a bass. That's a good bass. That's right. Come on. It's a nice bass. I need a picture, Bob. Turn your headlamp off. Oh, Bob. That was a nice bass, ain't it? Yeah, it's really nice. You can see it, right? Of course. Dang, all right, let's measure it against my rod. So, just to there, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh, Bob, wow. that's a nice fish. That's a beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back in the water. He hit. When he hit, he just took off like a freight train. I heard nice you drag. Mwah. It's right here. Coming to you, Bob. Right here. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was awesome. What a fish. 
That was awesome. I didn't. I was expecting more bluefish. I'm, I'm thinking in my head. I'm like, okay. So uh, if, when a bluefish comes, what is it gonna do? Is it gonna zig, 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 and just pull out line? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, zzz, got a big old bass. Let's get more. Holy crap! <laughs> that was a beautiful fish. Gorgeous. We came here with the intents of bluefish, and I got a really nice bass. I'm gonna go measure this and see how much that fish was. So I casted out my line already. This is basically how slow I'm reeling. This is a 2000 size VSX. And then every couple cranks I'm doing a little tiny twitch where I'm moving the rod tip maybe three or four inches at max and just reeling to twitch, let it pause, reel up the slack because we got the wind coming from our left and the current is pushing it to our left. So we gotta keep up that slack. That's basically what's been working the last couple times, and I've tried different things. Oh, a fish just hit me. Oh, there's bait all over. I don't know if you guys can see that in the water. There's bait all over. But I tried fast, uh, doing a fast retrieve because there's blues, and I wanted to make it really erratic and get them to come after the sound. Um, but what seems to have worked for both is the slow retrieve, a little pause, but still reeling up the slack and twitching. Let's catch some more. Move over to your right like 10 feet. There we go. And we got another fish. And fish jumping all over me. Oh, his airborne bluefish. He's a tiny little dude. He went like five feet in the air. Come on, little dude. We're gonna do an easy release on this guy. He's still in the water. Oh, oh, oof! I just got hit in the freaking balls. I watched that fish come right at me. Holy crap, oh, that hurt. Yeah. He just hit me in the freaking balls. All right, so we gotta be careful with these, especially releasing them in the water. Come on, little dude. Because we don't want to trap a hook to the face or the fingers. These guys are insane. So there's another bluefish. See you later, fella. Erica said there's fish all around us, and I believe it because we keep getting hit in the legs. Needlefish. Look at that. Just grabbed him. <laughs> just freaking grab him out of the water. Yeah, just like that eel. Him come in, hit me, and dart back out. What would have been crazier is if. There we go. Oh, he's pulling drag. He's pulling. Another blue. Oh, might be a little bit bigger. Oh, there's another one. this fish. I want to get him in as much as possible because there's fish all around us. He's going to Erica. Oh my gosh. It's happening. Oh, that's a bigger blue. Right. Biggest bluefish of the year so far. This one's close to nine-ish pounds, I want to say. Wow. They're fighting like crazy. My first time catching bluefish at night. Look at that chomper. Beautiful fish. Let's go release him, catch some more. I'm releasing him. Other way, bud. Nice. 
That was awesome. I didn't expect a bigger fish like that. So cool. Let's do a bit more. Nice. Erica and I are doubled up with some drag pullers. Oh, be careful with that. You don't want to snap off. Watch the ledge. Dang, son. They're both pulling drag. What the heck? Yes, Bob. Yes. Big old blues. These are double digits all day. What? All right. I got you, 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 I got you. Move back a little, off the ledge, off the ledge. He'll pull you in. Wow, we got double digit blues. Holy cow, yours is huge. How do I hold it from- Like this. That's huge, buddy. This is the size of my body. <laughs> it's insane. I can't even hold it. Look at that fish. Bob, what is this close? I'm trying. <laughs> I can't even You're pick close. it up. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> Look at that fish. Smile. <laughs> wow. All right. Put yours next to your ride. Let's, let's do a measurement. All right. Up to the end of the tsunami. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Just move some more. Okay, let me release mine, and then I'll get a video of you. <laughs> oh, this is the biggest fish, fish I've ever caught. We good? Yeah. Literally like the size of my torso. Let's go home. I know. I, just, I'm such a weenie. <laughs> Come on, buddy. That's not me. That's him wiggling like that. You know what? That took a long time. Yeah, it did. But you did it. He'll be okay. Good job. Wow, that took a while. <laughs> Let's go oh. catch more if they're still here. Do you know how much water is in my waders? I right? saw you fall. I know. I fell forward and then I got up and then I fell backwards. So That's my, why I went and grabbed you. My butt soaked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that was awesome. That was my first blue of the year and it was the biggest blue I've ever caught. It was definitely like my personal best. It was. That was easily over 10 pounds. No, that was that was a 15, 16 pound fish. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I have no sense of it because I Mine was like, like 13, 14. Yours is like 16 all the way. I have not caught a blue that big ever, let alone at night. I mean, yeah. we never really go for blues at night. So this was uh, a cool experience for sure. Let's leave. Yeah, well, I started getting cold and now I'm, I'm shivering right now because my waders are fill, filled with water. <laughs> when I came back here with my <sighs> fish, she fell completely in the water, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're you gonna know, give it some more time. Uh, yeah, okay, a few more a few more casts, but I'm freezing. I'm not, let's go. <laughs> the wind is like ripping right now. So we made it back to the truck. She is soaked 
we are gonna go home. This isn't the end of the video. We do have to measure those fish on our rods. So we're gonna do that when we get back to the house and see how big my striper was and my blue and her bluefish. Cause she had a massive, massive bluefish. Like. I sure did. Like insane. They pulled her into the water. That's why we're leaving. Cause she's freezing cold. She fell in. I had to grab her like you guys saw. <laughs> that but, didn't help. It was too late. Yeah, it was too late by that point. But I watched her go in. But it was a good night, especially with a big bright moon. Cause yeah. she wanted to leave. She's like, oh, look at this big bright moon. It's killed the bite. And then boom, we both hooked up. Within three minutes of me saying that. Yeah. That always seems to happen. Whenever I'm like, hey, I'm ready to leave if you are, that's always when my best fish happen. And just for the record, I don't outfish Polly in numbers, but in size, I generally do. Cause look what happens every time. I'm good for one or two good fish a night. And that's it. And like. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera <laughs> away. On, so on. anyway, we're going back to the house and we're gonna go measure those fish. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're home and we have the rods inside. I've got my tape measure. We're gonna measure yours first. Your big blue fish, okay? Okay. All right, so it came up to this air wave part, right? The logo? Yes, yep. Well, it came up to, yeah, where the tsunami logo ends and the airwave begins. Alright, so it's... Roughly a 30 inch, 29 and a half inch... 20, blue it's 29 and a half, because it didn't quite hit the A for the airwave. Right, so 29 and a half inch bluefish. <laughs> nice! My striper came just above this part, right before the L. That's awesome. 32-ish. What did I say? 32-ish. I estimated when I saw the fish and I said it looks like it's 32. Yep. Nice. Slammed it again on the black and purple 5-inch mag darter. Van stalls. This is a Lama Glass Insane Surf 10-foot medium... Medium heavy? Uh, medium... What is this? Oh, moderate fast action, 10 foot Lama Glass Insane Surf. And then your airwave is a nine foot medium heavy, right? Yeah, medium heavy. So it's super, super fun. I'm sure you had a blast on the, the, ten, the, the nine foot I medium sure did. heavy. That's but. my favorite rod. It always has been. I switched away from it for a while. No, I'm cold. You're Don't. cold? I'm still cold. We just got home, so. I'm like still warming up, but yeah, my airwaves my favorite rod. Honestly, like I switched away from it, and I was using the Trophy Two for a while because I had my big fish on the Trophy Two. So I was like, oh well, this is good luck. I'm just gonna use that. This one's way more fun to catch fish on. It's like so much, like it has so much more play in it than uh, the Trophy Two is pretty stiff. Like it probably still would have been good with that fish anyway. The blue fish tonight was huge, so it doesn't matter. But either way, I mean, it was awesome. We had a good night. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all the views, comments, support, you guys sharing stuff, especially sharing photos of you guys catching fish that on lures that I make. So that's pretty neat. Thank you so much. But uh, that's the end of today's video. We're gonna go back out fishing tomorrow. Maybe try the kayak. I don't think you're gonna go fishing for, with me, right? I won't be here. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be fishing from the kayak. Hopefully, if not, then we're hitting the beach again. But thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all the support, so. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. You still cold? What? You still cold? I'm a little toasty now. Yes. Without my love.